This is the fifth and final part to the Gabby Petito case. Warning, viewer discretion is advised. His cause of unaliving could not be determined by an autopsy, so his remains were given to the forensic anthropologist for further examination. On November 23rd, it was announced that Brian had unalived himself with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. On June 22, 2022, the laundry's attorney released a notebook that was found next to Brian when they found him deceased. Brian would explain why he unalived Gabby in the notebook found by his body. Brian had claimed that he had unalived Gabby Petito after she had fallen into a cold creek, possibly hit her head, and was shaking with cold. I ended her life and I thought it was merciful. That is what she wanted. But I see now that that all was a mistake and I panicked. I was in shock. When I pulled Gabby out of the water, she couldn't tell me what hurt. She told me that she had a small bump on her forehead that would eventually get larger. Her feet hurt and her wrist hurt, but she was freezing and shaking violently. While carrying her, she continued to make sounds of pain. He claims that between the violent shakes and while gasping in pain, she was begging for an end to her pain. Laundry's description of Gabby's symptoms before he unalived her are similar to those of a person of hyperthermia according to the CDC prevention and it's not a fatal condition. And Brian stated, I'm unaliving myself not because of fear of punishment, but rather because I can't stand to live another day without her. Experts contend that Brian's account don't match up with the investigator's findings. Michael Alcazar from John Jay College of Criminal Justice believes that Brian was someone who doesn't want to own up what he did and he was just trying to find justification for what he did. The Petitos are now in a civil suit with the laundries that is still ongoing. And that is the unfortunate story of 